Coastal Louisiana is one of the most important states in the country for colonial nesting water birds. Breton Island is no different. Breton is extremely important to hundreds of thousands of nesting birds every year. And if that island's not there, then these birds have nowhere to go. So barrier islands are part of the erosional part of a delta take cycle. So the river builds out and then it switches and makes a new route to the Gulf. And during that process, sands are moved up and barrier islands are formed. And of course, they're important because they provide these unique habitats along our coastline. And then they also serve as sort of this storm buffer for storm energies that come in and wave energies. And then on a daily basis, they even provide the important function of basically creating this stiller sound estuary. And they define the, the line between the open gulf conditions and the estuary conditions. And so all of these functions are extremely important in, in this ecosystem to provide all the ecosystem services that, that these habitats provide. The BP oil spill killed approximately 27,000 brown pelicans across the Gulf of Mexico. Brighton Island serves as a nesting habitat. It not only provides nesting habitat for this local region, but it helps for the entire brown pelican population. Fish and Wildlife Service has the responsibility for management and oversight of many trust resources, including birds. There was damage done to Breton Island from the 2010 oil spill. Breton also had received some damage from a 2005 oil spill. We were able to put both settlements together to make it a bigger, better project to restore vital nesting habitat for brown pelicans and other bird species. So Breton has that crescent shape on the north end and that's where the mangrove forest is located and where we're going to expand it. On the Gulf side, that is where we are going to be doing dune restoration by planting dune grasses. And then on the land side or the interior side, that is where we're going to be doing marsh restoration through the planting of marsh grasses like smooth cord grass. So the sand is being pumped from approximately three miles out from the island. What's important to know is that we're not just pumping the sand onto the island, it's being strategically placed to mimic the system from roughly 100 years ago. And the reason for that is obviously that system was very resilient to coastal storms and all the other impacts from that time frame. To be a part of this historic effort feels really good. This ties directly back to the mission of the Fish and Wildlife Service, which is conserving our nation's fish, wildlife, and plant species and their habitats for the continuing benefit of the American people. <laughs>